Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're going to play Jump Station 3 and possibly 4 by Capici. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's jump into the description. This test involves aerial faith plates again. I decided to change it and make it a bit longer now. Alright, let's jump in and let's see what we can come up with. See if anything has been improved on upon Jump Station 2. Always with the turrets, I don't know. I appreciate that you like going for a um you almost go for land and aesthetic of things destroying as you walk in, but I didn't I don't even see the turrets like being destroyed. Interesting. Interesting. Got more of the platforms that just take us down. It's all well and good. I'm guessing this one's gonna flip at some point. Ooh, nearly messed that up. Okay, so so far we are just jumping around. Looks like that trap platform. We're gonna have a. I don't know. It was a fizzle, wasn't it? So I'm guessing that's gonna like f maybe flip up at an angle of some description and allow us to fling over there. I have to guess. Okay, so that activates that. We haven't come across a cube yet, have we? I don't think we've even seen a dropper. This will help. What does Moon do? It just drops me down. So what did Moon do? Moon disabled that. Death. Now I don't know if that was because I was like holding the cube or whether it was where I stood onto the faith plate. I know LB is quite critical about faith plates in this game. Uh, I think it's because I'm messing about with the cube. I'm letting go of the cube and since when you let go of the cube you lose velocity. So yeah, um, hello, I will applaud you Mr. Mapmaker for, I will applaud you, actually no I won't, ignore that. Oh come on, don't be a dick. There was a save point there at least. I thought we have got a save point there after I'd done this bit before, but it's all good. Press that, get it down here. Let's really go up there. That. 
I'll take a fresh cube because you know, let's face it, Aperture has loads of cubes. It's kind of what I wanted to do before, but not. If that makes sense at all. Alright, so what I am gonna try and do is this, this. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, let's go back. Doesn't matter now. I have the portal in position. And uh, now I'm gonna do this. And we're gonna fly down to here. So, uh, first of all, good reuse of elements. The Everything is used more than once, which is always uh, a good thing in a puzzle. But I do feel it's just a case of, like, there's no, no real puzzle. It's all a matter of just sort of, like, flying around and walking around, pushing buttons. Um, there was never actually anything when I think, oh, actually, what do I need to do? It was all very kind of linear. So... Although you've got the element reuse there, I would try and make a... Try and use the elements a bit better together to try and actually make a puzzle. So, we will jump into jump station number four while we're here. Another double header episode. I think I can hear turrets being destroyed again. Uh, so, I'm very proud to announce the fourth continuation of my jump station chamber series. Now it includes a bit of everything and probably this is the one I am most, most proud of making. Hope you enjoy. Alright, so. Again with the turrets though. The turrets be dying and I'm not sure why. Yeah, it kind of doesn't make any sense to have turrets dying when the player can't see them. If it's for effect or, or whatever. Anyway, let's go to the funnel first because... That's not going to help, is it? Let's try this, perhaps. Go over here. And we'll do this. So that's exit condition. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Ultimately, I don't think it helps because if I got across to there, it doesn't help. Right, so let's now go over to here. Cube in here, it's causing quite a bit of lag. Right, save. And let's continue. Does that auto respawn? It does. Fantastic. Oh, 
There we go. Got it. Now I'm going to do this. Let's get it into the funnel. Drop back down. Can I get across there? Should be able to, right? I did, did the rest of them. And then I need to take the thingy back, of course. Well, you should thought about that. You gave the player a turn path, so good job. Uh, but I need to do it from over here, won't I? Yep. That's death. So, in this situation, what is the plan meant to do? Oh, I can just do that. Sorry, I didn't realize that was a... Yeah, to me, that wasn't glaring on, glaringly obvious that the Fizzler was disabled. But my bad. So now we can just uh, fly across the exit. So, yeah, probably again, same as the last one. Um... Reused of elements is good. Um, compared to the first two, there probably isn't a lot of like repetitiveness and like going backwards and forwards. But I kind of think it is still very. It was still very linear, and um, if you could try and like incorporate more of a puzzle into that, then that would be um, would be awesome, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any match to play, please leave them in the comments or head over to my Google form. A link is in the description. But until next time, I've been Nock, you've been awesome. See ya.